Hi everyone. In this part I want to give some important notions about uh, the derivative. I think they are important since it is the first step to understand the concept of derivative. The first definition of the first definition is slope of a line. As you know from high school the slope of a line is rise over run. Let's look at this graph. XY coordinate is given and the line is given. This is the point X2, Y2 and it is X1, Y1. The slope is actually is change in Y divided by change in X. This is change in Y divided by change in x it means y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 so it is the formal definition of slope of a line so let's look at this example let's look Let's look at this line. The points for 5 and 1 0 are given. So it's very easy to find the slope of the line. So it is the slope, it is the formula of the slope. So the only thing is to plug all these values in this formula and finally we have 5 over 3 as the slope of the line. Another simple example, these two points are given, minus 4, 5 and 5, 1, and the only thing is just to plug these values in the slope formula, and finally we have minus 4 over 9. So change in y divided by change in x gives the slope of a line. So, what about this question, slope of any vertical line? What is the slope of any vertical line? Let's have this line, for instance. This vertical line. X equals 2. Okay, X equals 2. Let's rewrite the formula of the slope. That is y two, y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. Let's choose two arbitrary points, 2, 3, 2, minus 4. They are just two arbitrary points. And let's use this formula to find the slope. 3 minus minus 4 divided by 2 minus 2. So as you see, we have 0 in denominator. It means we have an undefined uh, number. So the number is not defined this is why we don't have slope for any vertical line what about the slope of any horizontal line again let's have a horizontal line let's say this is y equals minus 3 okay again I choose I pick two arbitrary points let's say we have minus 3 minus 3 4 minus 3 and I use the formula of slope y1 minus y2 divided by y1 minus y2 divided by 4 minus minus 3 and as you see the slope is 0 so for any horizontal line the slope is always 0 What about if we have a line in this form? Let's say 5x plus 4y is equal to 0. You may choose two arbitrary points of x. Let's say we have, let's say we pick 6 and 2. We plug these two numbers of x in the given equality. Then we have two values of y. 
okay so at the end of these computations we will have two points of xy we have two pairs of xy 6 minus 5 2 minus 2 0 okay so it is the formula of slope y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2 that is minus 5 minus 5 minus 0 divided by 6 minus 2 finally we have minus 5 over 4 so it is the first way to find slope of a given equality a given equation is the first way we of course have some alternative methods or ways to find the slope of a line if a linear equation is solved for y the coefficient of the x represents the slope of the line let's assume that we have this line 5x plus 4y is equal to 10 okay if you choose if you solve this equality for y it means if you make y alone then finally you have this form of equality in this form the coefficient of x represents the slope of the line here we have again minus 5 over 4 so it's all up to you to find the slope of a line by these two methods if a linear equation is solved for y as we did before the coefficient of the x represents the slope of the line it is another example let's say we have 2x minus y is equal to 7 if you solve the linear equality for y you have 2x minus 7 then the slope is the coefficient of x which is 2 another example 5x, 5x plus 7 is equal to 2 if you solve this equality for y finally you have this form and the coefficient of x gives the slope of the line what is the definition of parallel lines parallel lines are two or more lines with the same slope it is the keyword the same slope if some lines have the same slope then it means they are parallel to each other let's first have let's first write this line x plus y is equal to 5 and let's have another line 2x plus 2y is equal to y let's try to find this, their slopes i want to make y alone then i have y equals minus x equal plus 5 the coefficient of x gives the slope of the first line which is minus 1 and the coefficient of x gives the slope of the second line which is again minus 1 since their slope is equal to each other these two lines x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 3 are parallel to each other another important notion of lines when we are talking about lines it is perpendicular lines or orthogonal lines perpendicular lines exist if the product of their slope is equal to minus 1 let's again have x plus y is equal to 5 and another line 5x plus 2y is equal to 1 and let's check whether they are perpendicular to each other or not I write the given equality in this form y equals 2 over 5 y x minus 3 over 5 the slope of the line is the coefficient of x which is 2 over 5 and the slope of the second line is the again coefficient of the x which is minus 5 over 2 if you multiply these two slopes you have minus 1 so it implies that the given two equalities or two lines are perpendicular are perpendicular to each other so another example we have two lines and the question is that are the following lines parallel perpendicular or neither in order to decide 
whether given some lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other, we have to find their slopes. And using the same method, the coefficient of x gives the slope of first line, which is minus 1 over 3. The slope of the second line is the coefficient of x, which is 1 over 3. If you multiply these two slopes, you have minus 1 over 9 which does not give which does not satisfy the properties of perpendicular or parallel uh, their slopes are not equal to each other this is why they are not parallel to each other the product of their slope is not minus one this is why they are not per they are not perpendicular or orthogonal to each other so it is neither second example are the following lines parallel perpendicular or neither we have again two different lines 6x minus 12 y is equal to 4 the second line is the second line is 2x plus y is equal to 3 let's make y alone in these two equalities and the coefficient of x will give the slope of the lines the slope of first line is equal to 1 over 2 1 over 2 the second one is minus 2 if you multiply these two slopes you have minus 1 it means these two lines are perpendicular to each other another notion is the grade for every 20 horizontal feet of a road of uh, for every 20 horizontal feet a road rises 3 feet what is the grade of the road? The slope formula is rise over run. So the slope of the road is 3 feet divided by 20 feet. And if we want to find the grade of the road, we multiply by 1%. So it means the grade is 15%. Another notion is pitch of a roof. The pitch of a roof is a slope. It is calculated by using the vertical rise and the horizontal rise. If a run rises 3 feet for every tw every 10 feet of horizontal distance, what is the pitch of the f what is the pitch of the roof? The pitch is the slope which is rise over run. In this case it is uh, 7 over 10. So, uh, Another concept is equations of line. Line. How do we write a, an, an equation for a line? Uh, the first form is slope-intercept form. It means y equals mx plus b. Slope-intercept form. Recurs, this form recurs the y-intercept and the slope of the line. So if we, if we have the information, the slope and y-intercept, then we can easily write the equality of the equation we can easily write a formula for an equation okay if the slope is noun and the uh, y-intercept is noun then we can write the formula of an equation let's look at this example in this form again b is the intercept y-intercept and m is the slope how do we understand why is uh, b is y-intercept? Uh, if you plug 0, for instance, here in this formula, you will find y equals 2, which gives y-intercept of the equality. And minus 6 over 5 is the slope of the line. Another example is here. 2 over 3 is the slope. Minus 3 is the y-intercept. Minus 3 is the y-intercept b is the y uh, b is equal to minus 3 which is the y-intercept and m uh, is the slope of the line another simple example is here uh, write an equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept so it is it is the form okay if you have these two information slope and y-intercept then you can easily write 
the corresponding equation for the given line. So another form for a line is point slope form. And this form recurs the coordinates of a point on the line and the slope of the line. So this is the formula of this form. Y minus Y1 is equal to slope M times X minus X1. So if you have the point X1, Y1, and if you have the slope of the line, then in this case, of course, we can write the, the formula or, or equation for the given line. It is another example. Uh, the point 3, 2 is given. Sorry, minus 3, 2 is given. Minus 3, 2 is this. And this point is given. And the slope is also given for this equality. Minus 3 over 4. One point is given and the slope is given. So it's very easy to write down the formula of the uh, the formula of the line. Another simple example, you may check this. One point is given, slope is given, so we write, we directly write the equation. So writing an equation given two points. If we have two points in the question, we first calculate the slope of the line select two form of the equation the first form is ax plus b is equal to c this is standard form of inequality second form is slope intercept form slope y intercept form of the equality okay and, this, and the third form is point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 so we have all these forms in this presentation and the final step is substitute or solve for the selected form. It's very easy. If you, if you have two points, we can easily evaluate the slope. Then it is all up to you uh, to find the equality of the given line uh, using one of, the, one of these forms. Let's have these two points. 1, 3, 5, minus 2. And using this information, let's write the equality of a given of the line. We first calculate the slope. To calculate the slope, we write 3 minus minus 2 divided by 1 minus 5. Finally, the slope is minus 5 over 4. It is a slope. Okay. And the next step. In the next step, we choose which method or which form do we prefer to line, to write down the line of the given, uh, to write down the formula of the given line. Let's use point slope form. In this form, we have a point. Okay, we choose, we have the point uh, x1, y1. So y1 is 3, as you see. Okay, y1 is 3 and x1 as you see is 1. Okay, so if you write down the slope also, which is minus 5 over 4, you directly write, you directly write uh, the equality or the formula of the line. If you prefer to choose the other point, you will exactly get the same formula. So it is another example. I think it is also not difficult to understand how do we establish a formula using this information.